So in today's web dev tip, we're going to look at the logical and operator in JavaScript, which is basically the two ampersand signs that you can see here. So an and is when two values on either side of the operator both have to be truthy uh, for you to get a positive result. So for example, if we have 10 and 15, then you can see on the output on the right hand side, we don't get an actual true value. We actually get the value provided to us on the right hand side of the logical and operator. And this is different from the logical or operator that we've looked at before, that if we actually pass in a falsy value as the first argument, then we do actually get a false value back uh, rather than the other elements, either on the left or right hand side of the AND operator. So this is most often used in if statements to combine different conditions together to check whether they both evaluate to a truthy value. Uh, before uh, passing control to the rest of the if statement. However, there's also a little technique that's sometimes used by some developers uh, to do what we call a short circuit, uh, which will execute a function or run another bit of code only if the first value on the left-hand side is truthy. So let's take a look at an example of that. So we've got this function getAge here, which is a bit trivial, but what it takes in is an object and then just console logs out their age property of that object. So if you write in some code to test the response object to see if the role property that is inside there uh, is set as dev, then we would do something like this. So we'd say uh, response.role is equal to dev. And if that's true, then we could call the getAge function and then pass in the response object. And as you can see, all that does is pick out the age property from the object that's passed in and then logs it out to the console. So the other approach to doing this with the logical AND operator would to be basically get rid of the if statement completely and then just use the AND operator here in between the two expressions. So first of all, we've got the check to see whether the response.role is equal to dev. And then if that is true, then we'll just run the function, the getAge function which is what is on the right hand side of the logical AND operator. So you'll see this technique being used sometimes where space might be a concern. So for example, in a template file, or maybe when you've got some kind of value which is in a descriptive variable. So we could have something like response.isDev is a property on that object. And if that's truthy, then we can run the getAge function to display that to the user. Of course, because there's no property on the response object called isDev, that's actually false. So this function never gets run in this example, and there's no output in the console on the right hand side. So there you go, that's all about the logical AND operator in JavaScript. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.